testimony that you have trusted God for let this be the year of speedy performance in the next one minute we are going to pray as a global family be it unto us Lord we believe be it unto us everything you have said concerning 2024 from January till December we believe go ahead and pray you are holding the hands of someone we are engaging the weapon of unity and we are making faith declarations Lord we believe over January over February over March over April over May June July August September October November December 2024 we agree there will be no death no shame no mockery outside are you praying overflows are you praying koinonia global pray body of christ those connected this is not just for koinonia it is a reality that extends to the body of christ we can tap by faith with understanding hold the hands of someone make declarations of faith in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus we decree and declare be it unto us everything you have said be it unto us that this year the profit that comes from loving you from serving you will be evidence to all and sundry we believe surprises by the spirit change of levels by the spirit mighty manifestations greater anointings by the spirit unctions by the spirit signs and wonders by the spirit extraordinary wealth and abundance by the spirit settlements of all kinds by the spirit testimonies by the spirit this we believe this we receive we believe praying one minute increases of every kind in the name of Jesus spiritual growth increase breaking lips and bounds by the spirit of God by the spirit of grace Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua go ahead and pray we hand over koinonia we hand over our sound of revival conferences we hand over our global conference we hand over every miracle service we hand over our destinies our health our marriages our finances our children we cannot fail this year we experience elevations of that kind hand over your career hand over your spiritual life mother hand over your children they are safer with him than with you father hand over your family hand over your affairs don't hold it to yourself in pride you will lose and lose and lose again Hand over your business, hand over your company, hand over your job.
preachers hand over your ministry ala paras ko debare ko shabarante sabalash rate ke balana balaka shabranda ganes hand over your music ministry hand over your apostolic ministry hand over the prophetic ministry In Jesus mighty name we pray. Tonight in this place there are preachers, great men and women, some of my dear wonderful people in ministry have come to worship with us tonight from far near. In this place tonight there are businessmen. In this place tonight there are career people both excelling and struggling. In this place tonight there are family people trusting God for all kinds of testimonies or celebrating him in thanksgiving. In this place tonight there are students trusting God that he will write and rewrite their story. In this place tonight there are people enjoying health. In this place tonight there are people struggling who came trusting Rafa to touch them. In this place tonight there are people who have been marvelously helped of God financially. But there are people who are in financial pain pain that is worse than bodily infirmity limited some of them right now after service they do not even know how the week coming will be in this place there are people who have been in debt threatened by all kinds of debt like the wife of the sons of the prophet in this place there are people who have enjoyed the arrival of children in this place there are others who have lost loved ones can i tell you it doesn't matter what is around your life it is safer when you hand it over to god if it is pain still give it to him if it is your crown still give it to him hallelujah i was teaching over at the concert the worship concert in zaria to wrap up last year and one of the things i taught them was the various templates of worship in the Bible. There were various templates, three of them. Number one, Job. Job lost everything. And the Bible says he bowed himself and worshiped. Number two, the woman with the alabaster box. One of the synoptic accounts would tell us that that was a woman who was a harlot. She had a terrible past, a past that should not be desired by anyone. So here on one side is a man who was once great and he went from grace to grass. He lost everything and his response was worship. Here was a woman who had a terrible past that would not even want anybody to know. Her response with her alabaster box, worship. And then the Bible finally teaches us the worship in heaven, the four and twenty elders. These ones did not have scars, they only had crowns, and yet with their crowns, they still worshipped. So in the presence of worship, those who have lost, those who are in pains, and those who are enjoying victory, all bow to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That must be your attitude this year. That while you are trusting God for the best, if you find yourself in the position of Job, your response, worship. You find yourself in the position of Mary with all kinds of negative things around your life. Your position, worship. She started the worship with her tears and her hair. This woman was a very interesting woman because all of her worshipped. Her hair worshipped. Her tears worshipped. Her wealth worshipped. And then for the 20 and 4 elders, they drop their crowns. You don't receive crowns as a gift. It is a reward. And yet they laid it down. I'm giving you this as a prophetic instruction. Let there be nothing that happens to you this year that will make you call God unfaithful. You're, from now, you live rejoicing and say, Lord, you are faithful. If you find yourself as an elder with a crown on your head, receiving rewards like we expect, your response is worship. You find yourself with yesterday being painful and bitter for your family, for you. Just help those under the anointing. I see some people under the anointing. Your response is worship. 
you find yourself like Job. Perhaps last year it was great. Towards the end of last year, things just crashed down financially or otherwise. In any case, your response is worship. Let me speak over your life now. You don't have to kneel. Please stand. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed us afresh for this season and for the sake of your people. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare the grace that is behind this prophetic word, exceeding great rewards, may that grace from today begin to follow you. May that grace from today begin to follow you. Let it follow you in ministry. Let it follow you in business. Please hear me. In the name of Jesus, shame and reproach over your life. We preached on Ichabod last year. Whatever has made men to call you Ichabod, I declare like Rahab the prostitute, may God rewrite your story. Like Ruth in the Bible, may God rewrite your story. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Every long-standing testimony that you have trusted God for, let this be the year of speedy performance. The year of speedy performance. Let me prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let there be supernatural marriages this year. Supernatural marriages this year. Supernatural children this year. Supernatural jobs this year. Supernatural liftings this year. Supernatural restoration this year. Hear me. There are some of you here. Before we get to June, you will be so empowered. You will take care of your entire family as a single person. I say it again. My God will lift you and empower you. You will take care of everyone as a single person. There are ministries here who may be small in terms of impact, but in the name of Jesus, as this grace comes upon you, you will expand like the clouds in the sky. You will expand like the clouds in the sky. You will expand like the clouds in the sky. Can I pray for your finances? If you don't believe it, don't receive it. But if you believe it, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you this year. Between now, do you know, listen. Thank you, Jesus. I just remembered something while I was praying coming. I had in my spirit, after four months, then comes the harvest. I, I, I don't know how it escaped my mind. Hallelujah. You see, the, you see the, the benefit of the Holy Spirit. I think, I, I can't remember if I wrote it or not. I was praying just before I would come. I kept hearing it in my spirit. After four months, then comes the harvest. After four months, then comes the harvest. Whatever that means to you, I pray for you that in the name of Jesus, literally within four months and prophetically within four months, may your harvest be delivered to you. May your abarakas kote prekete balakatosia. May your harvest be delivered to you. After four months, then comes the harvest. Everything that has crippled you economically, tied your hands, tied the hands of your spouse, receive this one, oh, tied the hands of your loved ones so that you cannot rise. Rent you cannot pay. You are building you cannot complete. Children cannot go to school. I pray for you. May my God who is Ebenezer arise and wipe that shame from your tears. Wipe that shame from your eyes. Wipe that shame from your life in the name of Jesus. I pray sincerely for any man of God here who has been struggling in ministry. 
you love Jesus with all your heart but there are results you have desperately prayed that they happen I pray for you between now and the next four months may God surprise you everyone in business hear me I pray for you this is your year this is your year this is your year this is your year I decree rise I decree shine go and excel in business in the name of Jesus now hear me all blessings come from God through man to man I want to pray for you perhaps God instructed certain people to look on you with kindness last year but the devil manipulated them into forgetting you and he made last year Mara a bitter experience and praying this year speedily they will turn to your attention speedily they will turn your direction in the name of Jesus Christ now please hear me every time there is economic calamity it is always connected with death go and read your Bible everywhere you see economic calamity you will always see death connected to it let me pray and separate you early now from that demonic destructive spirit I don't care what prophecy is flying around about death or otherwise koinonia global hear me and believers hear me in the name of Jesus as one sent of God and sent by God this year you will not die I say it again this year you will not die I shut the mouth of the grave concerning you I shut the mouth of the grave concerning you every conspiracy by hell whether in your place of work to bring you down to stop you from rising so that your glory be turned to shame the spirit behind it lives now in the name of Jesus my final prayer for you listen carefully you see this thing we call anointing eh? is not oil oh. I hope you know that oil is only a representation because if you rub that oil on your head you will go and take your bath and you will clean it away are we together now anointing is not just oil it is an engracing from God that makes you command results only God can produce it is impossible to be anointed and produce results at a human frequency the assignment of the anointing is to elevate you to a realm of possibility where the result that comes from you it becomes clear and unmistakable that this is God walking through a man can I release that grace on you the grace for extraordinary results results beyond human comprehension receive that anointing now receive that empowerment now receive that empowerment now by reason of this prayer I call you a sign and a wonder I call you a sign and a wonder in the name of Jesus Christ so shall it be so shall it be beginning from now so shall it be all through the 12 months of this year in the name of Jesus you will not fall you will not fail you will not falter anybody waiting for bad news from your end will wait forever did you hear what I said anybody waiting for bad news from your end will wait forever as for you the Lord is your portion you will rise above your enemies you will smite your enemies on the cheekbone in the name of Jesus wave your hands together and give Jesus praise it's a, it's, a, it's a wave offering wave your hands together give him praise in the name of Jesus the son of the living God to you be all the glory in Jesus mighty name we pray